Over nine years ago, when I came across this book, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway, I was very surprised by the book for a simple reason. The number of exercises which it was doing, these practical exercises which it was, which it was uh, listing out, were exercises which I was already doing, which I had discovered somehow the other to assist me with my journey. And uh, this book actually gave a structure for all those exercises and that is one of the reasons I became a facilitator for the book. And in today's video, we are going to look at chapter two. Chapter two, which is, can you make it go away? In other words, can you make the fear go away? Now, the book in this chapter talks about five tru truths about fear. Five truths about fear. And I w I'm only going to focus on one particular truth, and that is truth four and before going to truth four let me tell you about fear a little bit more and how it can actually sabotage us at the same time we can be very grateful give it gratitude for showing us something which we were not able to see before when you are in a fearful state basically you're in a low emotion state your feelings are low you feel sink feel like you're sinking and when you're sinking what literally happens you start contracting as well that's what fear does to us it contracts us and we start sinking so a fearful straight state could be anger it could be greed it could be guilty so all of these could be considered as fearful state and for all of us it's so crucial that we raise ourselves up and we raise ourselves into a loving state which is your higher state the loving state is your higher state and the easiest way to do that is to apply compassion to yourself and that is self-compassion and this is where this truth for is very very powerful when we look at fear and can we make it go away and truth for says this is what it literally says not only am i going to experience fear whenever i am on unfamiliar territory but so is everyone else so let me repeat that again not only am i going to experience fear whenever i am on unfamiliar territory but so is everyone else you are not alone in a possible fear which you're going through people experience fear on a daily daily basis and when we are in a fearful state we are in a lower state we are contracting we are sinking and that's very heavy and when we use compassion to lift ourselves up we go into this loving state and that loving state allows us to have courage it allows us to move forward it allows us to take the next steps and this could be small small steps so shift yourself from that lower state to that higher state from that fearful state to that loving state and that can be done through compassion because when we are in this unfamiliar territory and we are fearful we tend to beat ourselves a lot and that is the worst thing which we can do and compassion plays a big part in passing through uplifting yourself and moving to that loving state to get clarity and focus Thank you very much. Peace be with you. Amor Fatih.